Hi loves, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Veronica. Welcome to the Bless family. Today's video is going to be an extreme cleaning motivation, real life mess. So I hope that you guys can go ahead and clean up with me today. But I did want to mention today's video it is a collaboration with my beautiful friend here on youtube she's one of my best friends her name is becca jones she does have a mommy lifestyle channel she does cleaning videos vlogs cooking videos as well as um hauls in her channel so you would definitely not be disappointed by checking her out she has tons of cleaning motivation and we're going to go ahead and collab in a cleaning video as well she is a boy mom she has three boys and she is a military spouse as well she just recently is building her new home so you'll definitely be seeing lots of moving videos decluttering videos you name it she has great content for you guys so definitely go ahead and check her out let her know that bless mama v sent you i'll link her channel down below as well as also the collaboration video that we're doing as well she does also have a true crime channel so i'll link it down below for you guys as well just in case you guys are interested if you guys are like me that are true crime junkies you'll definitely love her channel as well i'll go ahead and link everything down below for you guys and some on the description box definitely check her out let her know that blessed mama v sent you and let's go ahead and get started with this disgusting mess in the kitchen and in my room as well you're gonna see the whole entire clips this is so embarrassing but it is really really messy and we're gonna go ahead and get started with cleaning out the kitchen first we're gonna go ahead and just put everything back into its place and cleaning the countertops before we get into doing some dishes you will see me deep cleaning the stove in a little bit but i did want to introduce myself if you are coming from becca's channel welcome to the bless family my name is veronica and if you guys are in need of cleaning motivation you'll definitely get it on this channel i do a lot of messy house transformation real life mess videos as well as decluttering organizing videos along with that i also do some how-to videos on my channel as well so if you guys enjoy that type of content you'll definitely enjoy this channel i am a mom of two i have a 14 year old son and a two year old little girl and i also have a vlogging channel if you guys are interested in vlogs it's called raising autism i'll definitely link it down below on the description box just in case you guys are interested in checking that channel out but we're gonna go ahead and just clean up this kitchen and if you are new definitely leave me a comment down below let me know that you're coming from becca's channel and even if you're not coming from becca's and you are new i would love to hear from you so definitely leave me a comment down below i love speaking with you guys walking on fire trying not to bend my feet i'm tired of fighting saying things we don't mean you know i don't like it when you're packing your back and turning your back Calling me a liar Calling me a liar Trying not to let my feelings get to me Sometimes I can't let them go So now I got these voices Now I got these voices in my head Feeling like I'm all alone, you don't seem to want me Even though you told me so And baby, I wonder If we should just go in separate ways We could start over We could start over Trying not to let my feelings get And I was actually just sweeping a little bit before I started doing my drawer where i hold all my hand towels as well as when i start doing the dishes i hate when there's crumbs on the floor and i'm barefoot right now so it's driving me insane so i wanted to get the sweeping out of the way and then i'm going to go ahead and just organize this little area here where i hold all of my cloths and then i'm going to go ahead and get to doing some dishes do you guys have a specific area where you put all your cleaning cloths do you keep them in the kitchen 
Do you have a little area in the bathroom for them? Leave me a comment down below. I just recently started doing it in the kitchen because I feel like it's a lot easier for me to get to them while I'm cleaning the kitchen and I'm cleaning the kitchen 24 seven. So it's just the best option for me. Definitely leave me a comment down below where you keep your cleaning towels. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just take out all the dishes from the dishwasher and then I'm gonna start washing them. I wash them by hand, but I'm just letting them dry on the dishwasher area. Right now my dishwasher is broke, so if you're new, you may not know that. So I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I am washing them by hand. I'm just letting them air dry basically in the dishwasher, if that makes any sense. But that is what we're gonna go ahead and do now. And I wanted to ask you guys also, what are you guys doing for this three day weekend? I know we're in quarantine, but some places are open and they have a lot of areas that are open in different states and different cities. What do you guys plan for, for this weekend? My niece is turning 16 on Monday. I cannot believe she's gonna be 16 years old. That is insane to me, but we're probably not gonna be able to see her. If we do, it might be like a little drive by um, the house and just to say happy birthday to her. But we might end up going to the Bay Area. We live close to the Bay Area, so we were thinking about going to the beach out there because I think some of the beaches might be open just to hang out and do some walking and hiking out there with the kids. Is there any plans that you guys have for Memorial Day weekend? If you guys do, definitely leave me a comment down below. And even if you don't, just let me know if you're gonna be staying indoors. Um, baby, I'll be fine if you text me one last time. Wishful thinking gets the worst of me. Hoping that it's still you and me. Yeah, I thought we'd always shine. Just some time off, we'd be fine.
as you guys can tell, my daughter wanted my attention, so I had to stop doing what I was doing. She kept coming up to me while I was doing the dishes. I think I stopped about a couple of times before I finished the whole entire load of dishes because she wanted to hang out with me. This was very early in the morning. I tried to do my cleaning videos early in the morning before she wakes up, but this morning in particular, she had woken up extremely early and that's why she was awake, but I had to finish this little part of the video for you guys that way when we were breaking from her aba class her therapy session that she has Monday to friday i came back and i did the stove so basically this is two three hours after washing dishes i came back and i wanted to clean the stove while emma was taking a nap and that's what i'll be doing right now look at how dirty this thing is it is so so disgusting it had crumbs all over the place i had to clean the bottom portion this open part of it um at least once a month because it gets so many crumbs on the bottom but the other portion of the top i clean every two weeks how often do you guys clean your stove top like extremely cleaning deep cleaning all the way through because i do it every two weeks i don't do it as often as i should but i do clean the top portion of it once a week leave me a comment down below and then i usually usually use the vacuum to just vacuum all the crumbs up sometimes i use the duster depending but right now i decided to use the vacuum because there was a lot of crumbs and food down there and then from there i'm actually using a new product that i found at the dollar store the dollar tree is called brio basic i've seen a lot of youtuber cleaning channels using this for their stove top so i decided to give it a try it's eight little pieces of this that comes in one box and you find it at the dollar tree for one dollar and it worked really really good so i definitely recommend it but that is what i'll be using to clean this little area here You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby are so so hard to take all the rust out of it because when i moved into this apartment complex this is a very old apartment complex and they already had a lot of rust build up on them so you're not going to see them spotless just because some of that is just not coming off no matter what i try tried for what two years now since i've been living here different things and it just doesn't come off i think i'm just gonna have to buy new ones i've been holding off on buying new ones for a very long time because i thought we were only gonna stay in this apartment complex for one year so i figured why am i gonna spend money on an apartment complex if we're just gonna move out but it's been two years and we're still here and we just signed another lease so i think it's about time i just purchase and Somebody told me, one of my subscribers, that you can buy them really cheap at Walmart. So I'm thinking about just buying some new ones because I'm so sick and tired on trying everything and none of it coming off. Not all of it comes off. So I definitely thinking I'm going to 
invest on that and purchase some new ones definitely leave me a comment down below if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas on that Alright, so now on to this messy bedroom. Honestly, this how this room is the most neglected part of my house. This room, my closet, and this bathroom that I have in this bedroom. The master bedroom is the most neglected part of my house. I just don't clean it as often. I don't care if it gets messier. It's the least of my worries to clean this room but that's why i always have a complete disaster whenever it's time to clean this room because it's the most neglected part of the house i have a three bedroom two bathrooms and this is the one that i just leave it towards the end to clean how about you guys what is the most neglected room in your home or apartment complex leave me a comment down below let me know also i hate doing laundry with a passion i hate folding it i don't mind cleaning the laundry or washing the laundry as you would say but i just hate folding so i always leave that to the end also so i always have a pile of clothes i wash them i leave it in the bedroom and i do it the next day or the following day i'm just horrible at doing that what is the least favorite chore that you guys have definitely also leave me that down below i would love to know esas caderas y bien pegadito a mí sé que hay muchos pretendientes que tienes pero no los ve porque solo ves uno y ese hombre lo hace tan bien las horas son segundas y solo al lado de ti besándote mami and you guys i've been feeling a lot of excitedly excited lately and i've been super tired because i have people coming over my house monday through friday five hours a day they basically here all morning with us and i've had to keep the house clean every single morning i wake up extra early so i can go ahead and clean the house and keep it almost spotless i hate having people over and the house looking a mess so i always have to wake up extra early i've been waking up at five o'clock in the morning and doing the cleaning because they're here at eight o'clock in the morning and then um it's just super stressful and then i've been trying to do my cleaning videos on top of that and recording doing voiceovers and all of that has definitely been stressing me out i love doing the videos don't get me wrong but i just been feeling really overwhelmed mostly because i have people at my house 24 7 and I have got asked questions on why they're here and why there's therapy at my house for that many hours and as you guys know I have a two-year-old little baby girl and she has autism so that are here to help her um, with with that as well and to be able to speak also so that's why I have them here so often and uh, that was what was approved with our insurance so I thank God that they're here to help us, but it's definitely been a little bit overwhelming. So if you guys can keep us in your prayers, that would be amazing. And also just keep little Emma in your prayers so she is learning better.
baby here in my heart when i'm with you i feel so much better oh yeah before you i was just a shell so stuck in you guys have no idea how amazing it feels to have a clean room i mean i'm sure you guys definitely know how amazing it feels to have a clean room and then this whole entire house was super clean after this because those are my two main areas that i needed to clean and the worst disaster that i had in the home but now that it's done i'm having my little robo assist or whatever this thing is called doing the rest of the work for me and definitely don't forget to check out my friend becca's channel let her know that i sent you and if you stay to the end don't forget to leave me that comment and let me know that you stayed till the end have a blessed rest of your day and i'll talk to you later bye